Ooh, just missed the pin. Hi guys, Donal here from Golf Bidder to go through the tips for this week's Barclays Scottish Open. My first tip this week is going to be Graham McDowell. He's around 25 to 1 on the betting sites and the exchanges. I think he's got a weight lifted off his shoulders. He's no longer a major champion with all the commitments and the, the media interviews that he has to do. Uh, he's a great Lynx player, was brought up uh, on Lynx. He's won before the British Open before, I think it was 2008 he won in Loch Lomond. So a rejuvenated and refreshed GMAC for me at 25 to 1 is my first tip. My other tips are going to give you a little bit of value this week. My second tip is going to be Richie Ramsey. He's at 80, 85 to 1. He tied fifth last week. Uh, he had a 76 in the final round to, to, to slip down. He could have won the, the, the tournament in Paris. But he was number one for greens in regulation. And when the tour goes to a virgin venue like uh, Castle Stewart links this week, um, then that stat is very important. Uh, so Ramsey has a bit of uh, links form as well. He's done uh, very. He came close in the, in the Alfred Dunhill links a couple of years ago. Um, I seem to remember. So he's a good bet from 85 to one. Another man I think has a has a chance this week is Gregory Havre at 130 to one. Now he came back last week. Um, for his first appearance since the Open in Paris, and I think he finished around 20th or 21st. Um, two of his three of uh, two of his three wins have come in Scotland. He won the Scottish Open in Loch Lomond in 2007, and he won in Glen Eagles in 2008. So he's a happy camper in Scotland. And Gregory Havre, does he have any links pedigree? We just asked the people at Pebble Beach last year. So uh, Gregory Havre from 131 seems like a bit long odds for me. I also fancy Darren Clark to do well from 90 to one. Uh, you'll recall last year that he and Eduardo Molinari were going hard at it in the final round, but Darren slipped, um, he dropped three shots at the death and basically handed it to Eduardo. So he missed the cut in Paris last week, um, but then again last year before his Scottish Open performance he also missed the cut. I think he came 84th last year and 82nd this year. So uh, form is, 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 is out the window, he's a good links player, was also brought up on it. So 90 to 1 seems like pretty good odds for Darren Clark. I'll finish with uh, one out of the top drawer. Johan Edfors, 110 to 1. Very, very impressive. I loved his final round at Congressional. It's 67 final round to climb into the top 20. You know, it just shows uh, that he has the game for it. Uh, he's five top 10s already this season. He's won in Scotland in the past. I think it was maybe five years ago. Uh, but it seems pretty long odds. Um, showed good form on Lynx, um, he's had some Alfred Dunhill form, played well in Baltre, coming close from the year Shane Lowry run. So Johan Edwards, 110 to 1, always around British Open time, uh, he ups his game a little bit. So those are my tips uh, for this week. We had a great week last week, Nick Watney won for us in the States, my uh, long odds shot, Mark Foster tied second in Paris, and Keimer also paid out for fourth. So there we are again, putting my neck on the block. Let's see how we do and talk to you next week.